This cache is called Take a Deep Breath. It's actually located at the Hedgesville Fire Department. As you can see, uh, through a little geo trail here, this is a gadget cache, so it's sure not hard to find. My gadget caches are not very hard to find. Day spring uh, was up in this area. We were doing some caching. We spent the evening together at dinner drawing pictures, and on the back of a napkin, he kind of drew this out and said, I think this will work. It's not hard to tell this is the geocache. The reason why, of course, is the um, sign on the side that says official geocache. It has the name of the cache, the GC number, and my telephone numbers. And um, I really don't want cachers to leave here without finding this cache, so I'd rather for them to call me than I would end up with a DNF. My goal is for cachers to have a great experience. Most of the time on my gadget caches, what I actually try to do is to build the cache, but don't paint it until I decide, you know, where it's going to go. So this one was built, designed, prototyped, took about two prototypes. After I got it built and designed, and then uh, I got permission from the Hedgesville Fire Department to place it here. So, as like most gadget caches, you're going to walk up to this. You're going to see it. It looks like there's a spot right here that uh, uh, you can't, you know, there's no, uh, might be a log there, but you can't open it. The other place, if you come around to the back, there's this large, there's a door here. You can't open this. So, I can look at this and I see other things. I see a couple holes here. Um, nothing here in the front. This is a solid hole here. Nothing here. Uh, I, do, I can see something here. So as you look at it, you can definitely tell that there is a, a, there's a, a piece of uh, metal here that I can pull out. Over here, there's the same thing. So if I pull these two pieces of metal out, and then I open the door, I look in, and here's a bag of balloons. So let me, let me pause and get a balloon. I removed the balloon, and now the cash page says the cash will give you everything you need to be able to open it. So I know the balloons are in here. So most likely, the cache is here. So what I have to do is figure out what I have to do to open this door to give me access to the cache. So they're going to take their balloon and they're going to blow it up. The first place I would try would be the actual place that the door's at. So I take my balloon and nothing happens. So I won't bore you with going through all these, but these, these started out as the um, dollar store horns. And inside here are all different horns that are cut different lengths. But cashers trying to get in have stuck things in these and broken. So to cut right to the chase, most of the time, cashers will put their balloons on most of these holes, trying each one of them. Even trying this one right, you know, sometimes they'll put a balloon here. And, you know, even put it in here, put a finger over this one. They'll try all different things. I get a lot of phone calls on this one because this is really a pretty difficult cache. I know exactly where the cache is. I know I need to know, you know, I know it's in here. I just got to figure out how to get it here. So after you've tried everything else, now you can take your balloon and we're going to insert the balloon into this white hole. And I said, remind, remember I told you that the cash page gave you everything you need? So you can take this, tuck the balloon in there, just leave enough of the balloon out there to blow on. If you blow it up, you can actually hear the click. You probably won't be able to hear it, but I will be able to. I heard something click. Now I reach around, you open, touch the door, and there's the door open. I can actually let this go. Take this out now. I come around here, reach in, and here's the geocache. So I can put it back, I can shut the door, and after I shut the door, it's locked back and won't let me back in. Take a deep breath. Now, 
the way this is designed, and I'm going to show you a picture of the inside. There is a wall built about right here in this cache. And on this wall, the best way to explain it, and you can see it in the pictures, is I almost call it a teeter-totter. It's a board that sits like this right on this wall. When I blow inside of this hole here, it lifts this board up this way. When this board comes up, it has a piece of fishing line that goes to the top and then connects on the bike back here to a, to a garden gate that I bought, that I actually bought at Lowe's. So what's not allowing this to open is a garden gate. I can actually see, if I look really close right in here, I can actually see the little garden gate right in there. And uh, people have tried to open it this way, it, it won't open. So what I do, by putting the balloon inside this hole, it lifts this piece of wood, which pulls this string and opens this garden gate and allows this to open. And the cache is right inside here. One of the uh, problems that you have with a cache that uses balloon, balloons, the cache page says that the cache will give you everything you need uh, to be able to open this cache because I don't want them to bring their own tools or to feel like they've got to use any, any tool in their gadget bag to try to open this because I don't want them to break my cache. But one of the drawbacks, uh, I do have to stop by here, you know, every couple weeks, depending on how many visits I have, and replace the balloons. Thank goodness you can pause the video and take a close look at this. I'm going to actually show you a picture looking down into the cache. You can see what I call the teeter-totter. It's a weighted board that actually has a little island on it that goes up to the fishing line that connects to the garden gate that, to, that opens the garden gate when you blow up the balloon. So you guys are going to have to give me some feedback. Am I talking way too much? Is this being helpful? I really appreciate everyone watching. Thanks.